Biophilic City. Natural processes are integrated into cooperative and metabolic organizations between humans, infrastructure, plant life, and other natural and artificial life forms. As uncontrolled urban expansion continues to encroach into natural ecosystems, the conflict between human habitat and biosphere occurs, and the risks of disasters increase. In order to maintain equilibrium with natural ecosystems, humans have an integral role in their cyclical processes. The regenerative approach introduced in this well is the biophilic city, which demonstrates a surprising process of transforming a city into a multidimensional assemblage of living organisms. Here, human activities and the cycles of plants and animals are organically combined through various metabolic cycles. Reforest City. The Reforest City, located in a coastal area, creates a new biological ecosystem within the city to reduce the carbon dioxide emission that causes global warming. The plantation towers that stand in the city grow like trees, incorporating housing, agriculture, forestry, and leisure activities. At the same time, this vertical development addresses the land shortage. The energy that supports the growth of the towers is provided by solar clouds floating in the sky above and collecting solar energy. The solar cloud rises like a balloon during the day and lands at the top of the tower at night. The solar energy stored will be distributed to support various needs such as agriculture, forestry, water circulation, and transportation infrastructure. The city's food supply is based on the principle of self-sufficiency. The plantation tower is actively engaged in cultivating and distributing agricultural products. Waste from farms and homes is converted into biofuel at a processing plant. The water slopes winding their way between the towers transport the rainwater collected, purified, and stored at the base of the towers for domestic use and for agricultural irrigation and timber transportation. Residents' transportation infrastructure is suspended above the ground, preventing interference with the forest floor's unique biodiversity. In this way, the rainforest city uniquely forms a lifestyle in which humans and nature coexist. At the same time, urban space is gradually turned into the forest's ecosystem. The reforest city, the studio's ambition is to uh, embed the resilience of nature into the city. Um, by, uh, yeah, especially the uh, study, the more spontaneous nature, um, how this uh, the forest uh, may work in a high-density urban environment. Mountain Lion Urbanism Mountain Lion Urbanism responds to the frequent wildfires in the area. Also, it protects biodiversity through a strategic residential facility built in a mountainous landscape where many wild animals reside. The development of residences is conducted carefully, respecting the ecology of wild animals. A survey of the migration routes of the mountain lion, the apex predator of the food chain, indicated that the wildland roads laid in the forest were blocking mountain lions' access to their water source. Reflecting this fact, the residential building has a multi-layered composition to incorporate safe access to water for mountain lions and other wildlife. After all humans are evacuated, the building can transform into a fireproof, smoke-proof shelter to accept wildlife animals. In other words, it has the flexibility to change its function depending on the situation. Consideration and protection of wildlife will help residents understand the natural ecosystem including the mechanism of wildfire, and enhance awareness of their symbiosis with nature. Using the residential building as the hub, educational programs led by the eco-community groups are conducted regularly. Water retention centers and campsites are located around the mountain. This layout encourages residents' active participation in the protection of wildlife and maintenance of the wildlands to minimize wildfire potential. So it could be inherently regenerative in, in terms of what the proposal is, that it's, it's not about conservation um, of the place, 
um, or preservation, sorry, preservation of a place in the sense that you're trying to keep it as it is um, or to recover it to a previous state and, and preserve it in its previous state. It has to be something that by necessity is evolutionary. Honeybee Commons. Biodiversity conservation requires attention to the ecology of insects and other tiny organisms. Among them, the pollination behavior of honeybees is known to influence human food production. It plays a significant role in the equilibrium of the natural world. In addition, the identification and analysis of honey's taste, viscosity, and seasonal production helps us to understand the actual state of the natural environment and predict changes. The honeybee commons is a case of regenerative urbanism that responds to climate change by mimicking the habitat of honeybees and creating a dual society of humans and these tiny creatures. The entire habitat is planned by a honeycomb grid with honey harvesting and processing facilities in the center and pollen and nectar-rich plants arranged systemically at its periphery. Residence activities and land use in this city are carefully restrained not to interfere with bee pollination and nectar collection. By protecting the habitat of these insects, human society and the surrounding ecosystem are well balanced, creating an urban structure that is resilient to environmental change. Something. That is also the, another starting point. The, why do we lose this kind of sensibility mm. towards the climate? is a one of the starting point to think about the local locality. Human residents of the symbiotic city are not trying to conquer nature, but to create ecological cities by observing and mimicking their life phenomena. The organic urban structure that assists the coexistence and co-prosperity of human beings and other living things is an urban organism born to survive the future of global climate change.